So he's going to be home the next few days. watch so like I asked her like what should I be watching for also like as a diabetic like child trauma could be a problem <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah she said he should be sitting you know his, he, he should be sitting with the foot elevated at all times sleeping with it elevated don't let it hang or dangle um Try not to walk on it, you know, you know, too much, you know, for at least like one to two weeks. Um, also, um, like to check regularly, like, you know how, like when you push on the, your fingertips and you see like how it gets white and then it starts to like color restores quickly, like capillary something she said, like just to check that and make sure and to watch like that, you know, the foot's not turning blue and it doesn't get like extremely like inflamed red looking. So. But you know, it, like, and I feel bad for my husband. I'm sure it must hurt like hell. You know, he's not a young guy, but like you need to safeguard. This is not the first time. I'm not trying to be like unsympathetic, you know, Nancy, you know, but like, um, you know, how many times have you gotten pieces in your eye that I had to take a New York eye and ear because you're not wearing your goggles? How many times did you come home with fucking cuts on your head? Oh, sorry, Adam. With cuts on your head and bumps on your head and bruises for not wearing the hard hat and you're, you know... It's my husband. It's him. It's not the work site. Other people wear the protective gear. My husband's choosing not to. It's stupidity on his part. No. 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 My husband, that's what my husband says. My hu Here's the thing, Randy, right? Because when I ask my husband, that's what he tells me. Because he knows what I'm going to say to him, right? If you know you're getting in your truck and you are driving to the job site why are you not wearing your work boots